So if you're still getting your food through the McDonald's channels, then isn't McDonald's still it's doing perfect. business in Russia? Yeah, so they have to go through other channels. Then they're playing by their channels. So then it's not McDonald's in any way, shape, or form. Uh, other than the menu issue, the menu items. I so they'll be call them the same thing? No, you can't call them. They can't call them. You can't even call them the same thing. I don't think so. I don't think so. But if you have the same thing, uh, they can. you can supersize. Uh, I don't even know if that's copyright or trademark. It may be the word supersize. Yeah, right, right. Uh, it, it's going to be very yeah, interesting. Yeah, but yeah. Good for McDonald's. I mean, they're taking a position. They're getting out. They're paying uh, their employees through this whole thing as the business has been shuttered since the invasion. Uh, they've really come to the table uh, where you have other companies, Burger King, oh, no, we're not getting involved. Uh, and I uh, have not shut down. I believe that's the case. If I'm wrong, Burger King, I immediately apologize, truly. I'm this. I'm very sorry for what I have said, and uh, a disclaimer here, because we don't want to get sued. Well, there's a voluntary recall of something you might right now have stuck to your teeth. Mars Wrigley has issued a recall of Skittle gummies, Starburst gummies, and Lifesaver gummies, because they got some complaints that there were little metal strands either in the bag or in the candy itself, which I think is not supposed to be in there. <laughs> well, you know what? I, I don't know. I mean, I would market it as, as Skittles with built-in toothpicks. And it would, uh, I, I think that would work. Extra, uh, extra iron. Yeah, you go. Anyway, if you have now, you know, they always go, look for the 10-digit manufacturing. No, 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 no. If no. you have any of this, period, you throw it away. Or take it or take it back to a store. I guess you could take it back to a store. Yeah, and you're going to, what, take one Although little Mars package Rig of Skittles? Mars, Rig Mars Rig Wrigley has said, if you have it, throw it away. They're not saying, oh, return it right. and you'll get your money back. Yeah, but how much, how much, how much does a bag of Skittles cost? Class action lawsuit. Yeah, class action lawsuit. Lawyers Lawyers will get $50 million. Yeah. And everybody else will get a 10 cent coupon for your next, <laughs> next purchase of Star. That's, exa that's ex dummy. exactly correct. Elon Musk says that Twitter's legal team has told him, hey, buddy, you violated an NDA. So remember when. Elon Musk started talking last week about pressing pause on his buy of Twitter because he wanted to know how many fake or spam or bot accounts Twitter actually has on it. Now, he said that the Twitter deal was temporarily on hold because he wanted to make sure that those spam fake accounts only added up to 5% of users. Well, he claimed in a tweet that Twitter legal called him to complain he violated the NDA by revealing the bot check sample size is 100. Because what happened was, after Elon Musk says he was checking the bot check claims, there was a, uh, like a user or somebody who tweeted, hey, so where did you get that sample size? Or how did you come up with that 5%? And he said, that's because that's what Twitter uses, a sample size of 100. And well, Twitter but, says you can't give that information. Yeah, e even talking about it, giving the information and then coming back and saying this is what they said about it may be another violation of the NDA. Uh, if, if what uh, Twitter says is true, uh, he's in violation of the NDA. But we don't know that they're, he's saying that they're saying he's in violation. Right, and they haven't said anything directly they from Twitter said. saying it. So this could just be drama boy yeah. trying to stir up the oh, yeah. drama. It could have dropped the price, who knows. If I, and here is a spin on this, uh, and that is, uh, and this happens quite often with major corporate purchases. If he does not go through, uh, other than for cause, and I guess he would uh, argue fraud or whatever. You talk about a lawsuit; it's unbelievable. If he does not go through, it's a billion-dollar penalty that he pays Twitter. He pays Twitter, and that happens a lot. To pay or play, uh, and it, it gets very, very expensive. It really does. All right, let's do uh, one more, I think, for Netflix the uh, Netflix has told their employees if they don't like some of the content that the streaming service is producing, they should quit. And this is mostly uh, doing dealing with the controversy around that Dave Chappelle, actually two specials that he put out where there's a lot of trans content, which a lot of people believe is anti-trans and even trans hate, and people at Netflix had a walkout, and they've been yelling and screaming about it, and they're, that Netflix has answered them. You, this, we're going to do all kinds of content for all kinds of taste. Some of it you're not going to like, and if you can't handle it, there's the door. Hey, did you see this? 
Did you did you see any of these specials? Yeah, sure. Uh, did you it, did you think that it was anti-trans, anti-gay? I didn't at all. I didn't think it was, but I definitely can see how someone might. Oh, just doing a story about that woman friend of his who was trans and ended up dying, and boy, I, where's the anti-trans? I didn't oh, see it. Oh, it's the whole part of it. The problem is if people haven't seen it, they're not going to know what we're talking about. There's a whole big section where he's basically saying even gay people are mad at trans people for um, interfering with and screwing up the progress of gay rights by bringing in yet another layer of things that people have to worry about. The 2011 Acura TSX. The bold and stylish 2011 Acura TSX combines comfort and luxury seamlessly. Every detail has been rendered with intense precision. A power rear lift gate simplifies cargo loading. You can rely on ultra bright xenon headlights to keep the roadway illuminated. Five passengers fit comfortably thanks to the generous interior space. You'll notice that the headroom and legroom make even the longest drives enjoyable. Acura prioritized fit and finish as evidenced by rear parking sensors, Xenon high intensity discharge lighting, and seat memory. The optional AcuraLink real-time system allows a driver to see weather conditions, where you are or your destination, as well as traffic notifications to avoid a difficult route. The interior is accented by heated perforated leather seats and dual zone climate control. Storage solutions are integrated throughout the interior, demonstrating thoughtful attention to detail. 
The award-winning Acura ELS surround sound system features 10 speakers controlled through voice commands. Acura also prioritized safety and security by including head curtain airbags, anti-whiplash front head restraints, and four-wheel disc brakes with ABS. You'll see better when backing up thanks to Rear Park Assist, which watches out for obstacles behind your vehicle. The 2011 Acura TSX. It continues to dominate among high-performance vehicles. Sorry, I sorry for. Okay. And we're also part of a second skirt. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Yeah, but I was just going to say, 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 Yeah, sure. 